Max, do you agree with Wilbon here? Yeah. No. I mean, look, I understand his point. It seems insecure in some way or, or, or unnecessary. It's superfluous. Why promise? You always deliver. Wilbon's really crediting LeBron James, saying you don't have to do this. But two things. LeBron doesn't have to do things the way anyone else ever did them. He has to do things the way he wants to do them. Number one, maybe. So, so, so that's number one. And number two, it's a social media age. Michael Jordan, Wayne Gretzky, that's before the social media age. And generally, I think, basketball players enjoy a much more intimate relationship with their fans than football players do. There are fewer of them. They don't wear the helmets, the whole thing. Uh, the league is much more uh, progressive in terms of its, um, um, or liberal in terms of its policy, in terms of how players interact with fans. Uh, it's really much more about marketing the individual than the NFL is. So the Tom Brady comparison I don't think exactly works. Um, so, so and, and furthermore, LeBron may feel that this is the way he gets himself motivated. He needs to put himself out there like that. And, and I don't think it's for any of us to, I mean, we can all have opinions about it. And Michael Wilbon has a lot of great opinions. That's why he's a TV star, the great Michael Wilbon. But LeBron James doesn't need to satisfy really anyone but himself. And if that's his process, and in the meantime, he builds a large social media following that helps him uh, as an entrepreneur, good for LeBron James. Well, that's what he's doing. Let's just call it what it is. He's building that. He has built that large contingent. And, and, you know, it has served him well as an entrepreneur in the business world. There's no doubt about that. More power to him. We wish him nothing but the best. We know that, by and large, LeBron is the sports iconic figure, is the premier sports iconic figure globally, as far as I'm concerned. But that doesn't make him nausea. That doesn't uh, negate the fact that he's nauseating at times. Like, for example, when LeBron James sits up there and he he comes out with a video of him working out. You know, this is three days after, three or four days after you lose the finals. And it's on the day of the parade for the Golden State Warriors. Damn it, go someplace. You lost. I don't want to see him. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's not your moment. That's not your time, okay? I, I, I would assume that you're working out. I would assume that you're getting yourself ready. Yeah. You know, listen, we know yeah. that he is going to get his, and he is going to be great. And he is going to be one of the greatest players in the world, if not the greatest player in the world. We get that, but damn, you lost, bro. And this is the fifth NBA Finals you've lost. And it's two in the last three years or three in the last four years that you have lost. Go someplace, man. Lick your wounds. DB ticked off. Hide a little bit. Make sure we don't see you because, damn, you lost. And so when, if you're Will Look. Bond and other guys, listen, Will Bond knows and appreciates LeBron James as much as anybody. We all know how he feels. We all know how can we help but revere the man's greatness. But at the same time, when you do stuff like that and you constantly on social media making promises and doing all of this stuff, it's like, wait a minute. What, what we really want to see is you avenge the loss. I mean, if we really, really think about it, Max, let's, let's, let's call a spade a spade. You, no matter what LeBron is doing, what we really, really want to see, mm -hmm. what, what you going to do about this loss you just took? Max. How, how you going to handle that? that no. That's what we really, really yes, want to see. Max, I have a question for you. That do you, matters. Do you think he likes yeah. the attention? Do you think he's trying to build a brand? He's or do building. you think he's truly trying to connect with his fans? Like, what do you think the motive is? All the same. Is this man such a superstar and he's all over the place? Let's with put this. it this way. Let's put it this way. Now I will put my dumb sports commentator. Why do they call us commentator? Shouldn't just be commenter. But anyway, mm -hmm. I'll put my dumb sports guy hat on and, and because I actually really do believe this. There's a part of me that is dumb sports guy. Mm -hmm. There are, I think what Michael Wilbon is reacting to, Stephen A, what you're reacting to, Molly, what you're certainly reacting to, because you and I have kind of talked about this topic mm -hmm. off air as well. Um, there is something people smell on LeBron that smells insecure. Yep. And we smell the same thing on A-Rod. Right? Which is why Jeter could do no wrong. That's and not what I feel. There's always a little problem. LeBron James, you brought up the fact that people don't feel intimidated about LeBron James the way they did about Michael Jordan, for example. Mm -hmm. Michael Jordan, much more like Jeter that way. Like, he doesn't do stuff that seems insecure. There is something about LeBron that I will cop to as a LeBron fan and, and just as an observer. That, that smells kind of the same way. Remember, A-Rod also upstaged the World Series at one time with comments. The same sort of thing I do agree is there. Maybe absent that thing, he'd be even greater. 
but this is who no. he is. No. And who he is is good enough to be the let, best player in let, the game no, by no, far. But, 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 but let me tell you something right now. And see, that's the difference between Max and I. Because this is a problem that I have with LeBron. LeBron tries to change the narrative too much. Now, I can understand building your brand. Let him do it. I mean, Lord have mercy. He's done it better than anybody. And nobody has been scrutinized more than him. And he deserves our sympathy in some respects in that regard. But I can't stand sometimes when he tries to change the narrative. We're talking about LeBron James one time last season having a bad night, not looking good on the court. He brings up how he's a role model. And, and, and what he's doing for kids. Who the hell said you did it? What, who implied that LeBron James is not charitable, that he isn't great with his time, his money, his effort? Whoever questioned him about a man, his, a, a husband, a father? No one has ever said a critical word about him in any way regarding any of that stuff. But you can point out something that's devoid of in his game, mm -hmm. and all of a sudden he brings up other things. Because he's very, very good at trying to control the narrative. And what I'm saying is, nah, no, no, no. Right now, you're playing with Cleveland. Y'all got a roster that's 10 deep, probably, with two starting fives. You needed a point guard that gave Here it to you. Go. You needed a shooting guard that gave it to you. You needed this, this, and this. They gave it to you. What you going to do? I know I appreciate everything yeah. else he's done. I truly do. Here yeah. we go. But in the end, I want to know how you going to avenge this loss. That's you a just separate talk. issue than what we Did, were just talking about. Here we go. Stephen L. A. That's it. Hey, Stephen A.